on the UFC Vegas 43. Now, one other topic not related to UFC Vegas 43 that I wanted to discuss the news. The news has been out now for like a weekish or so. The the cancellation of Masvidal and Edwards, uh, which we actually put a short out about it when it happened. So it's been it's not brand new news, but I wanted to kind of touch on what's what's going to be next for both guys. What kind of makes sense in our opinion uh, for for that division? So. The fight's completely scrapped. Like um, Leon isn't going to fight anyone else as of now, from what I've heard. For the, for like he's not, there's not going to be a replacement fighter, so that fight's just gone. Because um, <clears throat> Masvidal got hurt, and I think he said he didn't say what the injury was, but he was saying about six weeks to to be up and running. Uh, I I was hoping maybe they would throw someone else. I was hoping for a Luke and Edwards rematch. Luke is probably going to be close to shape given he was weighed in as an alternate for Colby and Usman. I was hoping they would make that work because that, I think if that fight happened and if Luke won that fight, uh, sorry, not well, either guy. I think if either guy won that fight, it makes most sense for either of those guys to have been the next contender against Usman. For me, if, Us, um, if uh, Edwards beat Masvidal, the only reason this matchup has been made, by the way, I, in terms of the, not so much for Edwards, it's because of Masvidal. Yeah, exactly. But the only reason is because after Masvidal beat, who was it? I think it was Nate Diaz in 2019. I think it was after that fight. They were interviewing uh, Masvidal. I think um, Megan was interviewing Masvidal after the fight. And while during the interview, Leon Edwards was walking like on the, like off camera, he was walking, and I guess Leon apparently said something to Masvidal. Masvidal didn't take too kindly to it. Walked up to him and hit him. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> he walked and just he like walked up to him. Yeah, he, he walked up to him with hands behind his back, and he gave him that. What he I don't know if you've seen that phrase that he's coined three piece and a soda. He gave him a three piece, busted Leon open a little bit. I had no idea. And that's that the happened, o- that's the only reason this fight's getting set up. Only reason because they have that beef, that history, that very brief. Uh, flash pan thing. That's the only reason. Otherwise, in terms of the trajectory of the division, Masvidal and Edwards makes no sense because, you know, Edwards is fans and Edwards saying, and especially um, like Helwani and some of these guys are saying, you know, Leon should have already fought for the title. Leon should be next for the title. So if we're putting Leon in that light, it makes no sense for him to be fighting someone that just lost the title fight two times in a row and not that competitively either. He lost pretty decisively in the first decision against Usman, and he got knocked a bleep out after the second one. So going in opposite directions, that matchup doesn't make sense for any other reason except for the scenario that I just told you You're about. saying going in opposite directions, but for me, I don't I don't even see Leon as competitive in that division. I, I mean, I'm not I, saying he's got like a 180 linear shot, but again, he hasn't been, lo- he hasn't been losing. He's been winning. I mean, yeah. But that's like why by I, the, you know, by the width of a butthole hair like look at i mean not interestingly he's not winning like excitingly but he's winning sure so that's why i'm saying like i don't think the victory against nate diaz was that's what i was getting at that's what i'm getting at i don't think anyone beating nate diaz warrants you getting a title (laughs) shot and it's so that's not like a leon edwards hate thing for me to say i don't mind seeing leon fight for a title at some point because again i understand the merit of it on like he hasn't lost in what the last nine or ten he had the the no contest against Bilal. That's why I'm saying I think it would have made most sense in terms of the trajectory of the division, especially now that Masvidal dropped off, to have been able to do Luke and Edwards because both guys, you could argue, are tr- right there. They're both, I would say both guys are one fight away from getting the title shot. So why not make that like the number one contender fight? Whoever wins fights Usman. That's what makes most sense to me. The only reason why I'm hesitant on agreeing with you is because I feel like Luke Ed needs another maybe one or two under his belt before going up and facing Just to be ready? Just to or be ready, say, yeah. Or are you saying on like, merit? No, just to be ready. Like, I feel like on merit, like, yeah, I agree with you. But I don't want to say, like, yeah, this is what I want to see because I want to see Luke win, obviously. Yeah. So I want to give my boy a little bit more experience, mm-hmm. man. Get another fight under your belt, possibly. And then we can talk about that because I, I think he's got potential. And I don't want to see that wasted because they fast tracked him to, you know, a title shot. Look, let's regardless, in my opinion, for either of those two guys, Leon, let it be Leon, let it be Luque. Today, neither of them can beat Usman. No. Even if they fight each other, one beats the other, neither are beating Usman. And I think that can be said about anyone in that division outside of maybe Hamzat. I'm saying maybe because... We've seen a very small sample size and a very short short time frame in each fight, too. We haven't seen him go anywhere because he doesn't need it. We saw him wrestle uh, Hermanson. He, we saw him ragdoll Hermanson. 
Um, and again, in those, and because I don't want to be hyperbolic, but in the very limited times we've seen him, he looks terrifying. But he also hasn't fought the stiffest of competition. Let's be honest, either, too. So, and and to Dana's credit, Dana has also said he's like, no, let's see him. He's like a couple fights. He's like he's only fought four times. Oh, for sure, yeah. No, he shouldn't so be fast tracked either. Yeah, so but, that's why I'm saying. I'm not including Hamza just because I haven't seen enough. We haven't seen enough of him in the UFC to know, okay, like can he fight legitimate competition? Right. It looks like he for sure can, but I'm not comfortable to say definitively. So excluding him, there's no one else that's going to challenge Usman in any other way. We're not going to have a, an immediate turnaround with Colby. Make, that makes I don't agree with that either. No, I, I think, again, we talked about it after that fight. Colby... Colby's two losses against Usman were easily the most difficult fights Usman has had. And Usman, will, I'm sure, if he hasn't like direct explicitly admitted that, knows that too. So <clears throat> it's kind of weird. Uh, it's th That division is in a weird spot given that. So it's like, yeah, even if we had a d definitive number one, you're not going to beat him. Hey, make Colby fight, Luke. Yeah. Um, that would be interesting. The one, I, the one I actually saw that was interesting was uh, Gilbert Burns was saying, I want to fight Colby. That I think that cool would be interesting. Yeah. I think that would be an interesting fight. Granted, Gilbert's asking to fight anyone at this point, and he's claiming like no one wants to fight him. DGs, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think that would be a fascinating matchup, him and uh, him and Colby. I'll take it, man. Because <clears throat> remember when, but before that fight got booked, the uh, I'm referring to Colby and Usman. You and I were saying like, why is he not fighting? Yep. He should be fighting. Yes. Like, I, we get it that okay, you you, you want to fight for the belt, you want to fight for the belt, but dude, get in there. Like he's evolving as a fighter. You need to be able to be limber, be uh, acclimated to the octagon, be all these things that, you know, I think are just subconscious elements. But the more you fight, it's it's like a ingrained thing. It's not the same as when you're sparring in the gym. You're not going the same uh, tempo as when you're in there. So you, he should have fought. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I, we're going to. I don't want to go back in yeah, time. It's yeah, very but. speculative. Um, cause, and the one thing I want to bring up, because like. So with Colby, right? So he loses to Usman the first time, doesn't fight for like a year, fights Woodley. And that was like a overdue fight that should have, that they had been wanting to happen like years ago. Easily defeats Woodley and then sits and then sits and then gets his rematch. And then for, for Leon, he's had these gaps between the fights and it's not all entirely his fault. Like it's not really for like that same way that Colby was doing it. Um, but the reason... Like I was, and the reason I bring this up is I want to draw a parallel between like the two scenarios because we've been accused of like being homers for Colby and like <laughs> <laughs> not liking other people. So the reason it made sense for me to see a turnaround with Colby and Usman immediately with no other fight was because of how competitive it was and to some people a questionable stoppage. But it was, if the stoppage had happened, the fight was almost done and it was going to be a very close decision. So it makes sense to turn it around because we look, look at, we're seeing Moreno and Figueredo three. You had to draw the first fight. Fine. So we do another one, a very definitive finish the second time, but now we have a trilogy and we've seen it multiple times where yeah, other Connor fights, and Poirier. Yeah. And that, that's, that one is strictly money, but again, yeah. Right. So this, it's not like we've seen, we've seen re, rematches made for less. <laughs> so it made sense in my opinion to immediately turn that fight around. So that's why Colby waiting around and then getting that title fight because there's people like he only fought Woodley why is he getting a rematch normally I'd probably be inclined to agree like yeah that's not enough to get it but I think he should have gotten it without that without Woodley in there anyway mm. I think that should have happened whereas for Edwards for like the Edwards fans and like some of the other journalists are saying why hasn't he fought yet Colby got it after thing I think it's because it's who he's fighting to and he he already lost to Usman and it wasn't competitive the way it was with Colby. So it's different. I don't think it's a one-to-one -one comparison to say. Now, I'm not saying like Leon needs to fight like another 10 times and prove his worth. No, I'm saying I do think he's just, if if the next fight they book is Usman and Le Edwards, like they just, they're like, forget Masvidal, let's make it Usman and Edwards. I won't be upset. Like, I'm not going to be like, no, he's undeserving. I just know he's not going to hold a candle in competition. Yeah. No, I agree with you 100%. It's not going to be the kind of fight that, as fans, we want to see. I think like, that fight's it, not it, selling anything. It'll be a stomping, like, 100%. I think Usman will just, like, yeah. walk all over him, dude. Because, it, look at his, again, back to the Nate Diaz fight, that was not good. You know, it was entertaining to watch these guys swinging at each other, but I'm watching Edwards going, like, if this is the competition you're putting up against Kamar Usman, <laughs> yeah. good luck, man. Good it's, luck. Almost, it's almost as if Leon point fights. I can see that, yeah. It's almost like I that. I can see that. Like, again, because 
for for like his fans, like I, I have no issue with Leon Edwards. Like I don't, I have, I'm, I have zero. I'm indifferent about Leon Edwards. Like if he fights or doesn't fight ever again, I really don't care because that that's how uninterested I am when he fights. I'll watch his fights, and like if he has a really good performance, I have no problem saying that was a really good performance. And again, I'm not saying it because he's getting like decision wins. If they're fun back and forth decision wins, like there was that fight with Nate and on Nate's side too. Not that much really going on for the most part until the last like 30 seconds. So, and I do think Leon's a better fighter on paper than Nate. So for that reason, I'm going to be a little more harsher critiquing him because I would think you should have been able to be more dominant yes. instead of almost getting finished if Nate Diaz didn't decide to just point at you and not capitalize. Exactly. So that's the thing where that's that that thing has left like a kind of a sour taste in the not necessarily Leon haters, but both the Leon haters and like the Leon indifferent people like you and I, where it's like, yeah, you beat Nate and you were you definitely won the fight, but it's like it wasn't you, decisive, the way you man. won. Yeah, dude, it's it like, was, damn, yeah. man, like. You had to go to decision. You know what? It, it was in. So sometimes we'll see those grapplers. Mm -hmm. but, well, we saw it on uh, this card where they'll just wrap the guy up and sit there for yeah. 15 minutes. That's how I felt we were watching a standing <laughs> match. If that makes <laughs> yeah, sense. Like, if you saying. could draw that comparison in your you're head, saying. like it looked like 15 minutes of just like. Meh. It's not exciting. It looked, and for the UFC side, they want to see either finishes or wars. They want to see like the Gaethje Chandlers. Well, so do we. Yeah, and the fans do too. That's why. So it's like, he might not be in the most favorable light of Dana White. And this is speculative. I don't know. I haven't, Dana hasn't explicitly said anything that I'm aware of. But if as a fighter, you're just going to decision and not they're not the most exciting decisions, he's not going to be so inclined to push you to fight. Any, whether it's Usman, whoever the champion was, they're not going to be inclined to push that fight forward. Because like, dude, who's going who's gonna to buy Usman versus Edwards? If, that's, if it's not stacked with other people, what the hell is that card going to sell? Well, What's the, that paper you going to sell? That was the whole reason. And uh, Colby gets a lot of hate, you know, maybe rightfully. He can be an asshole sometimes. But at the same time, people <laughs> don't realize it's a character. Because if you see him before that fight that he had in uh, Rio de Janeiro, where he called Brazil a dump. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't like Doing that. Any of that. Yeah. He was kind of like, like, it would be like, imagine Leon just being him right now. And then all of a sudden turning it up to freaking 15. And he's just bound like, that's. That's the, the difference between the pre-Brazil Colby and then the post-Brazil Colby. So, sorry, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I think you're right, man. If he doesn't get finishes, if he doesn't start performing in a way that is entertaining to the mm -hmm. UFC, to Dana White, and maybe, he, maybe he needs, yeah, and fans, maybe he needs to adopt the character. <laughs> you know, like Nate Diaz has a character. No, he doesn't though. That's just Nate. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's his persona. Sure, sure, like, sure. You know, like people see that and they're like, oh, it's Nate. Like yeah. he's entertaining, <clears throat> but it, maybe Leon needs to manufacture something like that to, to, you know, I know this is like, this isn't, has nothing to do with the MMA. I get, no, I get what you're saying like though. Marketing, but. Cause like, and let's bring it to Luke. Luke is, is like Leon in that or Luke is just Luke. There's no character behind him. He's a super nice guy. You listen to his interviews. Doesn't talk smack about anyone. He used to train with Kamaru. So when Kamaru was fighting Colby, he didn't. He wasn't even like taking shots at Colby. He was just saying like, you know, I fuck, I've sparred with Kamaru. I think from what I've faced, uh, what I've dealt with, I think he's gonna be Colby. Like he's very respectful, but his fights are exciting. Yeah. I but I in terms of household names, Leon and Col uh, and Edwards are uh, Leon and Edwards. Edwards and Luke. No one knows them. No one knows them, and they're probably not going to know them <clears throat> because of the soft spokenness. But at least with Luke, as as f people that are avid or above average watchers of the UFC, you're gonna you know who he is, and if he's fighting, you want to watch that fight because if he's not finishing, he's at least putting up a fun back and forth. Whereas with Leon, again, it seems like he's point fighting. Yeah, so, like I was listening to Ariel a while ago, and he's like, people forget Leon has the quickest finish or one of the quickest knockouts in UFC his UFC so welterweight history. That was one fight. If if um, if he showed that in the other fights, sure, I'd be like, yeah, dude, you, there's a clear blueprint of who this guy is. He knocked the guy out one time in like ten seconds, whatever it was. Badass but not indicative of who Leon Edwards is as a fighter by any no, means. I mean, it's, it's like, a, it's a stupid thing. It's to like the uh, Joaquin him. Buckley. Like you had a really, really <laughs> nice knockout, beautiful spinning back kick, just laid the dude out. But then you go to lose <laughs> your next fights. You know what I mean? Like, 
And at least, I would at least argue, even outside of that, at least Buckley's fights are still entertaining, though. Sure. Like, he didn't just do that by chance, by luck, and then did nothing else after that. Like, again, if I see Joaquin Buckley fighting, I'm watching the fight. And I'm watching any of the fights anyway, but, like, I'm looking forward to seeing him fight. Do you think Leon Edwards may be cursed or something? Because <laughs> the fact that he had that yeah. huge layoff. I think everyone, I think everyone agrees with that. Leon, Leon's fans and non-fans agree with that. It's strange, right? I think, like, even, I think even Dana agrees with how that. How do you have this much bad luck, man? It's how bizarre. Does that, how does that keep happening it's to you? It's bizarre. Like, this over fight over got canceled, again. right? Yeah. Even this fight got canceled. It's not good. <laughs> I mean, again, we let it off with uh, Edwards versus Moss as well. I... This matchup didn't make any sense to me in terms of merit. It made sense in terms of like little backstory, and then it's it's Mitz Masvidal. He's done a tremendous job turning his career in terms of like the eyes on him. I'm not saying in terms of in the octagon. I'm saying out of the octagon and people knowing who he is, getting closer to a household name where he's gonna sell the pay per views. If the undeservedly so, and you're saying that on the octagon side though, yeah. Um, now. Do I think Mosfidal and Edwards on its own could have headlined an event? Maybe a fight night, but a pay-per-view, even even with it being Mosfidal, I don't know how well that would have sold. Um, so now for Mosfidal, Mosfidal saying, like, I still want to fight Leon, um, but if he wants to fight someone else and not wait for me, I understand. But he's like, he's like, I would rather, my next fight, I would like to still be against Leon when I'm ready to go. And then he was saying, if not, you know, I'm fine beating up Colby, whatever. Um I would like to not see Leon wait until whenever um, Masvidal's ready. Because, yeah, he said six weeks. But then six weeks, I think, as in six weeks, he can start training. Is what I, how I understood. I could be wrong. So, I'm sorry. What happened to him exactly? He hasn't said. Oh, we don't know. No, okay. he didn't say. He just said whatever that injury is requires six weeks for him to be healed up. So, I'm assuming after six weeks, he's going to have to get back into, um, you know, octagon training and stuff like that. I'm sure, you know, he's not sitting on the couch um, chumming down McDonald's. <laughs> but uh, he's got to get re-prepared to be in, in octagon shape. So I would like to see Leon fight someone else just so we don't know when that's going to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was that non-UFC Vegas 43 related. But any 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 other notes for you on, on those, on that kind of the welterweight division, I guess, like the top echelon or what's going on there? No, not really. Um well, like we've always said it. It's in a weird position. Yeah, you know there there needs it's to be been a shakeup. In a weird position. Yeah. yeah, there needs to be a shakeup. I, I'm not saying this because I don't I don't like Usman, but <laughs> he, I mean he even said like he's thinking about potentially going doing boxing and like all this other stuff. So he may even be and we mentioned this. I want to say we mentioned this the last time we spoke, but he may even be positioning himself for that exit. So we might see him vacate, not because not because he doesn't want to be in the UFC, but because maybe there's better opportunities elsewhere to make more money. I mean, uh, he's not wrong when he says he's lapping the competition. And no, he's not. Division. He's not. He's 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 beat his stiffest challenge twice already, and then the other ones are not challenges. There, no one holds a candle to. Look, so Kobe. hypothetically, if he does vacate, you're gonna see a battle. I, I can't imagine anybody. Right, like I'm trying to think, anybody who gets that belt is probably gonna lose it. <laughs> on their next fight. So that might actually be really good for the division. You're going to create a lot of freaking hunger, I don't man. know if he would vacate, though, if he goes to... Like, boxing, he was... I don't think he was saying, like... I don't know how any of this works, so yeah. I was just speculating. Yeah, I think... I'm a casual like, he, 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 he just wants to fight... He just wants to fight Canelo for the money. That's he what said, I said. I said he, that. No, I know, but he's saying it like, oh, I want... It's the, it's the challenge. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but dude, like... Because they asked him after the Colby fight, like, you said you want to fight Canelo for the challenge. Like, would you be willing to make it a charity fight? He's like, no. <laughs> I appreciate the Aussie. He's like, no, man. I like, want to make money. <laughs> and then well, even before that happened, they asked Canelo, like, hey, Kamaru Usman said he wants to fight you. And I, I, I want to remember, because Canelo's English is like, he has a heavy accent, but he, he, can, he can speak some English. And what did he say? He said, um, I think he, when they said it, he just said two words and I might be getting the two words right, two words wrong, but it was, in the vein of money fight, cash grab. That's all. That's, he just said two words. And I was like, he knows it too. Everyone knows it. We know what it is. So um, it's unfortunate that Adesanya is the middleweight champion because I would have liked to see him go up and try and get like a the, the double champ thing. But they're unwilling to fight each other unless there's a lot of money involved, which I can understand. Adesanya and Usman. Usman yeah. Because uh, uh, they both say like, they, we'd rather have two Nigerian champions in one. And I can understand all that. That's fine. I mean, I um, think Adesanya would destroy him so destroy i don't know about destroy, destroy. I, I don't destroy know about destroy well. um yeah i mean again destroy. kind of a situation smashes destroys he's gonna deliver the flying caps. knee that masvidal couldn't yeah 
Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what pans out. It's, it's a, again that division is a weird place. This was a weird event. I don't know what they're gonna do with Leon and Masvidal or just Leon in general. I hope they 